In this video, we are going to discuss one example program using rising edge and falling edge instructions. Let's see the program. Write a PLC program to turn on conveyor using a rising edge input X24. A green lamp turns on when conveyor starts. Okay. The conveyor must be turned on continuously until turned off by a reset switch. Okay. Next, a robot has to supply a box on the conveyor using a falling gauge instruction. A reset input X21 is used to turn off all the outputs at once. Okay, first we will write the logic for the first la first paragraph. What is that? We need one rising edge input X24 and we have to turn on a conveyor and a green lamp and there is a reset. Okay, we will do this. Okay, so X24 conveyor forward green lamp go to software fine so take one rising edge x24 is a rising edge input rising edge is this one p enter x24 click ok we have to turn on conveyor we, in the simulation we can see there are two instruction two outputs for conveyor y1 y2 in the problem we are given with conveyor forward we have to take y1 okay take output enter y1 okay next this conveyor has to run continuously right so we have to latch it using y1 take a latch enter y1 okay now if you see the conveyor must be turned on continuously okay latch is already provided and turned off by a reset switch okay there is a reset switch you can turn it off the conveyor using this switch fine what is the address of the switch here it is given x21 so take that go to the software insert one nc contact enter x21 ok and one more thing is we have to turn on the green lamp right when the conveyor starts so what i will do i will take one parallel output here for this go to draw line drop down select this vertical line click ok next select here take one output i want to activate the green lamp right when conveyor starts green lamp also starts so and what is the address y6 green lamp address is y6 enter y6 click ok okay now first part of the logic is completed what is the second part a robot has to supply a box on the conveyor using a falling gauge instruction and I have to provide one reset input also for the robot go to software we need falling gauge instruction right so go to input falling take falling it falling gauge input enter x25 what is my output robot has to supply a box on the conveyor right so what is the robot supply command if you see from the simulation y0 take output enter y0 click ok for this robot 
we have to give supply command continuously so we may be need a latch or first we will simulate like this then we will see convert it write to plc okay say now it is in run mode when our I activate the X24 conveyor has to rotate in forward direction and the green lamp has to turn on right turn on the switch X24 see in this animation this is rotating and you can see this arrow right arrow is this direction that means conveyor is moving in this direction and green lamp is turned on okay if i activate x21 what will happen then this arrow will be disappear that means conveyor will be stopped and green lamp will be turned off see arrow is disappeared and green lamp turned off if you want to rotate conveyor again what you have to do make it off and make it on again because we need a rising gauge 0 to 1 signal now robot has to give we have to place a box on the conveyor using the robot so we given the signal but nothing happened okay so what we have to do make a latch this pulse is not enough duration so that robot is not supplying any command uh, any box so we have to provide a continuous signal make a latch with y0 okay convert it and then write to plc okay so turn on the conveyor conveyor is started green lamp is rotating and uh, it is a falling edge which has to signal has to change from on to off in x25 so it is already on i'm making it off robot is supplying the box on the conveyor okay we miss one thing here we need to provide one reset input such that it will turn off all outputs at once we already provided one reset input x21 in the first run same thing we had to provide it in the second rung also so edit ladder double click here take nc enter same number x21 because reset input is common to all outputs click convert right to plc okay program is completed x24 on it is changed from 0 to 1 so conveyor is started green lamp is turned on if you give command switch to also x25 off to 1 nothing happened because this is a falling edge make it on to off it activates y0 y0 is latch is there box is supplied one box right because this falling gauge instruction only activates one time and latch is also there if you want to supply the, a, another box you have to give another pulse give, uh, we can reset all the outputs at once using x21 activate x21 and release it all outputs are reset okay this is a simple animation with the help of rising gauge and falling gauge instructions i will meet you in the next session